Hi guys, this is Natalie from Simply Natalie. Welcome to my channel. And in this episode, I'm gonna make Thanksgiving turkey. I make a Thanksgiving turkey a couple years ago and uh, it was amazing. But this one, this time, I wanna share with you a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna glaze uh, with the vinegar. I'm using uh, Susan Summer vinegar and I love this vinegar. I made it uh, chicken before. So I'm gonna share with you how to stuff the turkey, how to marinate the turkey overnight and how to glaze the turkey with the Susan Summer uh, peach vinegar. So stay tuned. <laughs> We're gonna need olive oil, freshly ground black pepper, bay leaves. I love this one. I bought from Trader Joe's 21 season in salute. Yeah. Of course, we're gonna need salt. And I love cayenne. It's cayenne for everything. Um, then we're gonna need slice onion and slice garlic so you roughly chop garlic so here i have bay leaf and the only thing i do is just break a smaller pieces now here i have a pan of course what i can do I always love to use onion in the bottom of the turkey. This way the turkey is not gonna stick into a pan and then it's gonna absorb the onion and it just give extra good flavor to turkey. I'm gonna sprinkle with olive oil. There. Now we're gonna bring turkey. So yeah, here I have a turkey already pre-washed. So I want to sprinkle with salt, just like that, sprinkle all over here on the top, it's a big bird so we need some salt, we want to make sure I put inside enough salt. Next we're going to add some fresh ground black pepper. I love how cayenne smells and of course this amazing 21 seasons So what I'm gonna do now, just grab a knife and just poke holes. So when the turkey is gonna marinate, it's gonna absorb all the flavor. So we, what we're doing now, we're getting a leaf. Okay, so that you break in pieces. So you get one piece of leaf and then you get onion and we're gonna poke inside those holes just like that. I like to poke and then stuff it to the garlic. The turkey is gonna absorb garlic, bay leaf, bay leaf it smells so amazing. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stuff some garlic inside of the turkey along with the onion. So I like to put garlic here and there. wash my hands and now I'm gonna drizzle with olive oil all over the bird there and also I like to stuff some butter 
unsalted butter or if you have salted it's fine as well so i have one two three four five six like about seven pieces of butter inside the skin so now i'm gonna cover with the foil stuff this in the refrigerator overnight and we're gonna roast the turkey tomorrow so in a small pot i'm gonna boil the water and we're gonna add salt and this is for our stuffing so it's gonna be really quick and easy i'm gonna wait until it's boiled and in the meantime while the water is getting boiled we are gonna add in a pan a little bit of olive oil not a little bit about three to four tablespoons and we're gonna saute vegetables onion with the carrots so first I'm gonna saute onions until they um, get a little bit softener and then we're gonna add carrots and I love to make a stuffing for a turkey we always make a stuffing it's a great addition you can make with the rice you can make a buckwheat you can make with the oatmeal you can make Jewish couscous you can make with kini anything you desire it really doesn't matter and you can use your own ideas here is the carrots this one is the onion gonna soften we're gonna add carrots okay, the water is boiling so i'm gonna add yeah, yeah. The saute vegetables looks great onion and carrot buckwheat looks great we got the goods so the stuffing is ready we're gonna add freshly ground black pepper to this about one tablespoon or so fresh black pepper and cayenne a little bit of cayenne about pinch because it's spicy if your family don't like spicy just don't add cayenne if you not. and now we can now stuff a chuki look how good it is And when the turkey stays overnight with all these goodies, all these spices, it, the meat gonna, and not just the turkey, any other meat, the oven is already preheated for 375 degrees. It's letting me know it's ready. So, anyway, um, any meat, any meat, if you leave uh, at least for a couple hours. So it's going to absorb all the seasons. It's just amazing. It's going to be way tastier. So I'm all done with a stuffing. And I'm going to drizzle with this amazing vinegar from Susan Summer. This is not a sponsored video or anything. Although I wish it's a sponsored video. So Susan, if you see this, let me know. And I love this specific peach i love it so much we're gonna drizzle just a little bit just like that there amazing i'm gonna cover this with the lid and we're gonna throw this in the oven and about in the hour we're gonna baste the turkey and then like um, maybe half an hour before the turkey almost done i'm gonna drizzle this again the turkey is gonna be like a little bit on the sweet side just a little bit you don't even realize because this is like a peachy and it's just delicious i love it so much i use for my meat we can cover with the foil in an oven she goes so I baste the turkey about two hours and three hours and then 
like half an hour so you get the point okay i'm gonna baste and since been already three or even more than three hours i'm gonna paste and i'm gonna drizzle this yumminess one more time okay it's a peach vinegar peach balsamic vinegar just like that oh yeah and i'm gonna leave it open without foil if you do don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and leave me a comment if you make a thanksgiving turkey this year or not i hope everyone have a happy and blessed thanksgiving i know 2020 is a difficult year but just make the best of it may god bless everyone and i'll see you in my next video bye